Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Coming to you live from the basement of my Seattle apartment. Yeah, because I like to do that in the evenings. I'm watching uh, down in the man cave, watching uh, Vegas versus San Jose. We have Vegas, PL, and the over. So that's cool. Actually, no, it's in regulation now. Sorry, it's not PL. Because... I'm going to give, by the way, I'm going to give you all the picks. I assume everybody knows me by now, but there might be the odd person who does it. I'm Pearl of Wisdom. I do picks for people, and they make money. NHL picks. We also do other things as well uh, over at the Patreon, which I'll tell you one reason why you might want to go over to it. It's in the bio. You just hit the app. I'll give you a month for free. You can cancel any time, even if you haven't paid anything yet. Don't worry about it. I just want you to have you over there and have fun and see how awesome it is. Um, but we have Vegas in regulation and over six. It's 4-2 right now. So we just need one more goal. Big money. We have big, big pearls, units, if you will, on this. And if, I, if we hit it, it makes our day not bad. And I'll tell you why in a second because we're going to be going to uh, – we didn't have the greatest Friday wasn't the greatest Friday. Uh, but most of them are very great. Most of the days are very great. Occasionally, we don't have the greatest ones. Um, if Hey, you know what? There's cool kids, what they're doing. They're hitting the subscribe button. I'm trying to get up to 1,000. If you get up to 1,000, you can get what's called monetized on YouTube, and I can start making a little bit of extra scratch so I can bring more and more of this fine program. And so if you could hit the scribe, and if you like it, don't be afraid to hit the like button either. Not a bad thing. Just try it. Try it. Just try. Try. Okay. Let's look at our picks for yesterday or tonight. You might be watching it tomorrow. So this is Friday night. So whatever it is for you, you'll know what that is. Uh, Blues versus Kings. This stung. We had Kings ML and they were up 2-1 with... Two and a half minutes left. Uh, the Blues scored with uh, empty with uh, goalie pulled, and the Kings made just a stupid move. I, I don't know who it was in the offensive zone. They could have easily got. Anyways, it doesn't matter. The Kings have to learn how to hold a lead. They're a young team, and if there's one thing that they really have to learn right now, it's that. It's how to hold a lead, especially late in games. Far too often they're losing because of that. Anyways, we had the under, which took the sting off a little bit. But the under was only for small pearls, I believe. No, we didn't have the under here. We had the over, too, for small pearls. We got really a butt handed to us. Big pearls and the under. Um, ducks and avalanche. Two things happened here screwed me up. McKinnon was claimed to be playing all the way, all the way right to the end of the game, and then he ended up not playing. He ended up not going on the ice. I missed that. Uh, I normally don't miss that, but I did. So, yeah, I can't catch everything. And Manson for uh, the Ducks was back in the lineup, and that was one of the reasons why I took Avalanche in regulation. Because Lindholm and Manson were not playing. Manson's back. Um, I think Gru Grubauer was in net here. And uh, so, yeah, I would have taken Ducks PL if I would have known that McKinnon wasn't going to be in. I know you don't have to believe me, but I would have. Uh, this one was good for us. We had Wild for large pearls on the over. And we had uh, one unit on wild ml which in hot yeah wild wild ml so we took we got back a, a little bit uh where oh golden knights and sharks why is that here all right golden knights and sharks this was good for us we had golden knights in regulation and no, no, this is going on right now. What am I talking about? I just talked about this game. We need one more goal to go over, and then we're set up pretty good. We had Golden Knights in regulation, and uh, 
over here for large, large, large pearls. We need one more goal. We got 13 minutes left. We're gonna get one more goal, right? Yes, we are. For sure. Oh my gosh, somebody just ran over the awesome. And the reason why I wanted to talk to you about that. Oh, San Jose just scored. I think they're gonna say goaltender interference though, but San Jose just scored. So that makes our over good. Now we just have to make sure they don't score again because we have it in reg, but it's okay. Um, what happened here was though, Oscar Dansk was put in late, uh, was told to come in late. Uh, it went on and on and on, no confirmation, no confirmation. I was figuring the reason for that was they were gonna put Oscar Dansk in, and as soon as they were, I got on Patreon and I said, hey, get off the PL, which is good that I did, maybe. Uh, get off the PL, go on reg for the Golden Knights because Oscar Dance is, gonna, is a third string goaltender. He's not even that young, up and coming guy. He's probably going to be a tweener, maybe play the odd NHL game for the rest of his career. So there's a good chance he's going to give up more than, like, say, Flurry would, right? So I said, get off the PL uh, and go heavy, heavy on the over, like heavy. And uh, so that's what we did. And that'll save us pretty good. We had the capitals here, ML, and that certainly didn't happen. And we had the under six, and that didn't happen, but it was a wash. And the small pearls, I didn't like this game. I really thought it could go either way. So I thought put small pearls on the capitals since they got the juice, but it didn't work out. This one really buggered us. I had... But I only had medium pearls on the ML that here. And I also had the under. So we if we win, if we get this in reg by Vegas and the over, we might be actually up a unit today, but just barely because of the loss on this one too. So anyways, still our bad days are usually breaking even or maybe losing a unit. Doesn't happen often that we do much worse than that okay let's look at the games for tomorrow where are the games for tomorrow here okay we'll go over them quick rangers versus new jersey um this should be a spot for new jersey honestly I, you, you got to find a spot for new jersey to win but the rangers just crushed them the last game and blackwood has not been playing well at all Ever since he come back from COVID, he hasn't play, been playing well. And they're putting Blackwood in again. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Gorgia will be in Shesterkin's hurt. I do not like doing overs for day games. But I think you have no choice but to go over here. Oh, look at that. Vegas just, no, no, they didn't score another one. Okay. I don't, I have no choice but to go over here. Blackwood's not playing well. Gorgiev puts up okay numbers but not spectacular this is the numbers he usually puts up and these teams always play over pretty much so normally i like i said day games usually have me leaning to the under so because it's a day game i'm only going to put medium pearls on the over uh and it's five and a half so i'll put medium pearls on the over and i'm going to put medium pearls on the rangers ML because I just have no faith in New Jersey right now. None. So I have no choice. Sorry, New Jersey. I have no choice. Uh, Buffalo versus the Islanders. Carter Hutton supposed to be enough for Buffalo. The last time they played, Buffalo got 18 shots on net to 42 for the Islanders. Um, probably the to it's going to be a five. Yeah, a five, look, you can get five and a half. If you can get five and a half, go the under here. Look, if you get over to Westgate, Las Vegas. Is there any more? Oh, no. That's the only one. Go find it. Go find it. Westgate, Las Vegas. Get five and a half. Five, I might just fade the total. Last time, the Islanders lit them up pretty good. But again, this is an afternoon game. And... Uh, there should be a spot for Buffalo somewhere along the line here, but they're so bad, so, so bad. I can't take them. So Islanders in regulation will pay you about 180. And uh, 
yeah, it's about all I can say about that. And uh, I, I, I'm almost thinking the over. I'm really, but, but no, Varlamov under under five for small pearls. Philadelphia Pittsburgh. I was going back to Philadelphia again until I found out that Myers and um, Faraby, Faraby in Philadelphia they call him Faraby. They call him Faraby. Maybe they both sound the same. I don't know. Maybe it's just my Canadian accent. But um, because of that, I got to go to Pittsburgh. My, Philadelphia's defense without Myers just looks has looked horrible. Elliot is going to be in net. And for that reason, this these teams always play over. Always, always, always play over. Always. But for some reason, it's an afternoon game. I think it's going to be under the, today. This is going to be the time when it's under. Um, Elliot will keep them in. I'll probably kick myself. Because they always go over. But I'm saying under. When I wake up in the morning, I might change my mind. Pittsburgh, ML, and the under. And I'm a Philadelphia Flyers fan, by the way. So you can tell I'm not a homer. Uh, especially since it's Pittsburgh. But Nashville, Florida. Um, as long as Pekka Rene is in for Nashville, I can't go. And I think it says Bob Roski right now. Um... If it's Drigger, I'm going to go Florida and the under because I just don't think Nashville will score enough on Drigger. For Bobrovsky, I'm probably going to go the over. Uh, just Renee's really bad. Florida's going to be uh, – I'm taking Florida ML, by the way. I am going to take him ML. I can't keep – I looking for a spot for Nashville. Nashville came back really well against Florida last game. But – it's Florida. Florida is just outworking to everybody, and could, that could be just an aberration. So I'm going to take Florida. No real lines for Minnesota, Arizona. Um, we had Minnesota. We, we Minnesota did well for us last night. Arizona did not look good. It should be Aiden Hill in net, and uh, should be, uh, and it should be uh, Talbot in that for Minnesota, in which case I got to go the over again, but we don't know what the lines are. So I'm taking Minnesota in the over again. Uh, Arizona just, I thought they would look a lot better than that. Uh, Winnipeg, Montreal. I've Montreal should win this game, but Winnipeg is just flying right now. I don't think the coaching change really helped this team all that much. Uh, actually, that's not true. I talked to I guess, a couple guys. They are playing better. They just haven't won yet. I'm really on the fence about this game. But Montreal getting 165. What's the, what's the spread? Might as well take Winnipeg PL, if that's going to be the case. Um, I don't know who's going to be in net. I think they would be smart. Hellebuck has not been still been on his game yet. They almost would be smart to go to Brassois here. Where is it? Hellebuck is projected and Carey Price is projected. That being the case, I'm going to go the over until, unless Brian Burke has done like crazy good things for Carey Price here. I think the play is the over on this game. And uh, if you get in now, did it say it was five and a half? Did I see five and a half for total? Yeah, over. Over is the play. Winnipeg PL and the over. Toronto, Vancouver. Um, Toronto's been playing on the road like crazy. Probably going back to Demco. I screwed up and didn't take Vancouver last game. But Anderson's supposed to be in here. The play is the under, for sure. And I'm going to lean to Toronto ML. I like the under. Demko has been playing really good. Uh, and and uh, Anderson has been playing well. Should be an under. That would be the play. Anaheim, Colorado, without McKinnon. I don't know if McKinnon's going to be back. It doesn't say. 
they have um, Makar out and uh, Bowen Byram, which is pretty big for this club apparently because they're really struggling without them. Miller should be in. Miller's been fantastic for a 39 defenseman. And Colorado's going to have Mishka in. I'm going to go with Anaheim here. Do they have anything for Moneyline? At the very least, Anaheim on the spread, which won't come up. At 311, you're probably getting 180. Yeah, that's the play. Take Anaheim in the spread. If you want to gamble, go Anaheim full bore. With Hunter Mishka and Anaheim doesn't have much on paper for a team, but their pushback and everything is great. And Colorado right now is not. It, it, it sounds a little cray cray, but I think I would do that. I, Anaheim should at least keep this close with Mishka and that. Mishka is not that great. It's not that great. Columbus, Dallas. Um, I'm going Dallas ML here, but only for small. Not for big. Um, Columbus looked a lot better. They're playing their game last game. But they got to keep on rolling with Corpusalo. And Corpusalo is not that great. Hudobin had a bad game last game. Dallas outplayed Columbus in a lot of ways. I don't think Hudobin's going to have a bad game two games in a row. I think this is probably, I think, oh, yeah, the line is five. We're starting to get fives here. Total, five, yeah. I still like the under, though. That's why it's five. You're getting 209. Put a unit on the under. Why not? St. Louis, Los Angeles. Okay, I, I was really disappointed Los Angeles didn't win that game with Huso in net. And now they're going to have Quick in net against Bennington. I can't see Los Angeles losing back-to-back -to, -back to St. Louis. I really can't. Go one unit, half a unit on the money line. And a unit on the under. Because if they couldn't get over with uh, Huso and Net and uh, Huso and Net, it went, then I can't see how it's going to go over with Bennington and Net. So, yeah, under. Calgary Edmonton, I'm going Calgary here uh, simply because Dwayne Sutter is going to be uh, the coach now. Uh, the firing of coaches usually has a team rebound at least for one game very well. And Dwayne Sutter, I mean, he's a veteran. He knows exactly what to say in that room when he gets there. He's going to have them juiced. Edmonton should be angry about their losses against Toronto, but that's the problem with Edmonton is I don't see enough anger in that team. And uh, one thing is for sure, I put a unit on Calgary – and I bet you they're going to do six and a half here. Calgary Edmonton never go on, never go over six and a half. They're always under. So full bore under on this game. Uh, Markstrom might be back here, and then it's even more so. I like under, under, under. Vegas versus San Jose. Okay, we had dance skin, so it's going to be flurry tomorrow against Dubnik. This is the game of the night right here. Vegas PL large, large pearls. Uh, as far as over under, I don't know if San Jose is going to score enough on Flurry. I might lean the under for half a unit or something like that. But uh, Vegas PL large pearls. Okay, boys and girls. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the Patreon people that are flying over there. We're just getting more and more all the time. And I love all of you guys for it. I'll put it in the bio uh, and I'll give you a free month. It's like I said, it's totally free. You can quit before the end of the month or last day of the month and say, I don't want this or I don't really have the money or whatever. I don't care. I just want you to come over and have fun for at least a month. So go do that. Um, I do on Monday, you might want to check out, I do a live uh, for Steel Flyers All Sports Network. Um, three to five. It's uh, legit. It's a Steel Flyers is now corporate. We're a corporation. Getting, we're going to be getting paid. We have sponsors. I'm going to have commercials on it. Uh, so I'm really honored to be offered this opportunity to do it. It's a lot of fun. We do picks with uh, people. They they give us our picks and we um, uh, talk about the night games from the night before. 
any happenings that have happened, rumors, trades, whatever. We just, it's so much frolic. The, the frolic is immense. And I really would love you to come join us from three to five. And I know you may say, well, I work during three to five. Turn it on while you're working. Hello? It's like, okay. Or, you know, quit. Quit. What's more important than talking about hockey, really? Really, nothing, right? I mean, call me your, uh, call me your hockey advisor, life coach. Just call me that. Just tell them your life coach says that you have to watch, you have to listen to the video or watch that from three to five. Just tell your boss that. I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. That's my full 42. Lots of love to ya. Okay. Bye.